Hello friends, welcome to BSE Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomology crop wise pest. And uh, now I am going to tell you about the pest of maize. And uh, on small information, most of the pest of sorghum, kambu, maize, ragi are um, same. So I have only uh, telling about the pest of the differentiated uh, major pest from the kambu maize and ragi so if you want to know the list i have also attached the list of uh, major pest present in kambu maize and ragi in the separated one so please refer the lecture notes of sorghum which was in the before videos so that you can able to recall them and uh, so it was mainly i made this for the purpose of reducing the time construction of the students during the examination preparation so we must go for the maize pest videos so while saying about the pest of maize so these are the pest of borers cob feeders and uh, sucking insect present in the pest of maize so let's see them one by one which was uh, neglected in the pest of sorghum so the major pest so which was present in maize was corn worm or else ear worm so the scientific name is helicorpa armigera so as i have already mentioned to you that the helicorpa armigera is a polyphagous one so it uh, have different variety of host and uh, while seeing about the rake which are said to be spherical in shape creamy white in color and uh, light singly and the larva which is polychromism and the pupa which is said to be brown in color occur in soil leaf pot as well as in crop debris and the adult which is said to be large um, light pale yellow brown with the stouter moth and the forewing is used to have a v-shaped speck marking and the hind wing is a pale smoky with a border blackish outer margin and the next one is ash weevil so where the grubs are said to be the root feeders and uh, the adults are said to be feeding on the foliage which use it to cause us a notching symptom in the maize so the adult one of ash weevil is grey colored weevil and the management practices we can able to go for ash weevil or spraying of quenal pause 225 easy at 1 liter per hectare or also you can able to go for carbaryl 50 wp at 1 kg and uh, or else we can able to make uh, the liquid spray of 50 500 liters per hectare with the addition of carburite and the next one is leaf hopper where the scientific name is pyrilla per percusilla so the symptom of damage is they make the uh, leaves yellow and the used to make the leaves covered with sooty mold which causes by the secondary infection by the plant pathogens and the top leaf uh, which are said to be get dried and the latter buds which is used to get germinated in the early stages and while seeing about the identification of these leaf hoppers the limbs are said to be soft and pale yellow which are said to be dorsally and pale with the two uh, characteristics of anal filaments and the adult is straw color which is said to be head pointed forward as a stout and uh, the management practices for these insects are avoid use of excessive nitrogen as well as for monitoring we can able to use set um, light traps in the field we can also move for the biological con of releasing lepidopteran parasitoids like Epicarnia melanoleuca at uh, 8,000 to 10,000 cocoons per hectare or uh, we can able to go for uh, the insecticide spray as the final one of Malathion as well as in Monocrotopus uh, and the next one is we are going to see about the pest of Kambu so the important pest of Kambu was listed in this table and for the first one I am going to tell you about is the shoot fly which is Arthogonia approximata where the symptoms or the younger plants which used to cause dead horse as well as in the adult one where the ear heads used to have a chaffy grains in the tip and the well developed grains in the lower portion used to show a corkscrew symptoms where the grains which is said to be converted into a feathery like structures and the management practices we can able to go for shoot fly or plowing um, after harvest as well as the removal and destruction of sables is the important one we must need to make in, in the cultural practices and we can able to use the seeded pellets with the insecticides and uh, we can also place a TNAU low cost fish meal trap at 12 per hectare at the 30 day year old kambu plant or else we can able to move for the final one as the insecticide sprays as neem seed kernel extract, neem as well, one person extract spraying or else um, methyl dematon as well as dimethoate 30 easy 
and uh, the next infection of pest is the ear head midge so the scientific name is giromia peniceta so which is uh, comes under the family of cisidomide and diptera and while seeing about the biology of nature the exosity be said like simply in the pair of spikelets so which used to form a gummy stickiness in the spikelets in so which used to give a webbing like uh, imaginations at the particular point and the maggots which are said to be white cylindrical maggots and the puperium which is said to be brown color and pupates inside the spikelet and the adult ones are light pink as well as the fragile fly and uh, the management practices are mainly the insecticide spraying like carbide malathion and the carbaryl 50 wp 750 grams per hectare with the 500 liter of spray fluid per hectare and uh, the other important pest in kambu is flea beetle where the scientific name is lemma downsi and the uh, biology is egg which is to be singly laid on the leaf tissue and the grub so they are said to be whitish with a black head and a swollenly humped body and which used to habit the heart carrying the fecal matter dorsally and the pupation where it used to mainly takes place inside the soil and the other important insect is sting bug where the scientific name is nazara viridula where it used to cause the damage of creating the chaffy grains as well as spotted black or shriveled grains in the kambu and also it produces a stinky smell enumerated by the bug so the identification of pest can be done by nymphs so which is it to be brownish red with the multicolor spots as well as the adult one which is it to be green in color so the management practice of these stink bugs are application of insecticides like carbaryl malathion spraying carbaryl 50 wp and endosulfon so 750 per ml per hectare so the management of pest management practices we can able to take in in kambu or for shoot fly we can able to show them early in such seasons as well as raise of nursery and transplanting healthy seedlings or else we can able we must need to pull out the dead heart symptom as well as destroy them and seedlings which is to show dead heart symptoms and some other um, pest we must need to collect and the destruction at various uh, stages or grasshopper leaf caterpillars beetles and weevils uh, so for these pest we can able to dust linden at 1.3d 10 kg per hectare and um, for shoot fly grain meat ear head bug as well as ear head caterpillars uh, so we can able to collect the ear head of thrushing and burn them along with the stubbles so where we can able to uh, stop the carry over of pest for the next season and we can also go for carbaryl 10d and malathion 5d as well as carbaryl 50 wp for uh, at the field application and the next uh, we are going to see is important pest of ragi so the these are the table used to carry about the important pest present in ragi so it is a picture of ragi and the first one i am going to tell is pink stem borer sesamia in france so the damage is uh, used to cause a yeah, pink larva which is said to be found inside the stem and causes dead heart symptoms so i have given the picture of the pink stem borer and the identification of the pest or where the egg is said to be a bead like structure which is said to be laid in rows within the leaf sheath and the larva which is said to be pinkish with a dark brown head and the adult which is said to be straw colored mouth with white wings and the other important pest in ragi are root aphids where the scientific name is tetraneura nigra do minalis and the symptom of damage where the infested uh, plant used to turn pale yellow and become stunted one and wilting or drying out plants is said to be occurred in patches and uh, the black ants which used to attend for their honey dew secretion which is a secondary infection made by these root aphids so it it used to confirm the presence of root aphids attack in the ragi plant so the identification of the pest or the adult one which is said to be pinkish and globular in color and the management is uh, spraying of carbaryl at 50 50 wp at 1 kg per hectare with uh, 500 liter of spray fluids per hectare so i have given the lecture notes in description and i will also place the sorghum crops uh, video so you can able to check them out so please comment out the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch up in next videos